I pray. I mean, I, I pray, but I'm still struggling. Does God hear me? I tithe religiously, but I'm still struggling. Does God hear me? And then I read this book. And realize maybe I wasn't listening. Contrary wins. For those who want to give up, but need to know, greater is coming. Bye now on He Did Not Forget What up, y'all? So a lot of people have been asking me how to get their music on my brand, Vile Hip Hop News. I think I got away. I'm going to start doing music video reactions for independent artists. If you're interested, email me at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com for details. Sad. Sad, man. I want to talk about this guy, Uncle Luke, man. I think... Hmm. I want to play what he said the other day. And, um, I need a go. check from Ice Spice. I need a check from Sexy Red. All the fucking girls, Megan Thee Stallion. Anybody that's running around shaking their ass. Male rap is on some shit right now. I'm sorry. The females are winning. They're doing everything that I did. I'm still waiting for these girls to send me a fucking check. I need a check from Ice Spice who turned her ass around. And, and dropping it in like it's hot and doo doo browning. I need a check from her. I need a check from Sexy Red. Ah, that red, my friend. My man Stan. So, shouts out to Stan. Stan the man. I don't need a check from him. That's my dog. That's his record company. All the girls, Megan Thee Stallion, anybody that's running around shaking their ass, talking about uh, pussy and dick on the record. Y'all need to send me a check. Send me a check. Just stop by with the check and say, thank you, Uncle Luke, for allowing us, fighting, going to the Supreme Court, allowing us to be able to say what we're saying on the records. And we're whooping these men right now because we're doing our thing. That's going to go viral. Jim, you huffing and puffing and shit, mm -hmm. just walking down the street. What's your thoughts about this dude, Uncle Luke, man? I, you know, I'll be honest before you go, man. To me, he's a joke, bro, at this point, and a clown for the way he's been reacting over the last, you know, few days. But I'll let you go and, um, you know, give your opinion on it. I'm looking at Luke's Twitter now. I don't know, actually, I don't know why the fuck I did this. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he says, after comment on that, somebody posted that. He said, the girls don't need to give me a check. They need to pay respect. Only the one that has is Sexy Red. That's my girl. You clearly said 17 times they need to give you a check. So you're backpedaling on that. Right. Then you... Retweet applies applies quote, which is funny. This is this dear black men who are searching for a reason not to like Kamala Harris. Look your daughters, your nieces in their faces and tell them it'll be men like yourself who are going to question their blackness, their resume, their existence if they ever try to do anything impossible in this country. Oh so God. you are here trying to uplift one side that promotes your political agenda, but at the same time can promote the most disgusting, vilest filth that we've ever seen in Ooh. female hip hop fucking history. Right. Pay homage to a little Kim. Pay homage to even a Nicki Minaj or a Foxy Brown who gave that sexy, who gave that in your window, who was raunchy nonetheless. They were the ones influenced by Uncle Luke. Maybe. These motherfuckers out here now are doing whatever they want to do. And I find it extremely hypocritical because I'm not even going to get on the women right now. I'm going to get on you. Yeah. Extremely hypocritical right now that in one side of your face, you could talk about how black men disrespect this woman, Kamala Harris, this black woman, Kamala Harris, by not giving them their vote. But you can ask for a check by some of these non-talented, disgusting hoes with a microphone. Mm. And you actually sit back and act like you took credit for that. Well... Congratulations. I think Miss Salida Dolores Tucker may have been on the sun. Yeah, yeah, and that, that shit should have been abolished. It's like, to me, Uncle Luke's a joke. I, I know I I'll be honest with you. I don't really know who he was like that, bro. Like back in the day, like I heard about him or whatever like that. And obviously had an influence, although a negative influence, I think. Um the whole freak nick thing and shit, that shit wasn't good for the culture. You know, bitches shaking their ass and shit like that, wilding out. And we see what it trickled down to. I'm not going to put it all on Uncle Luke, but him and Plows are, are some of the... They're like, when you look at those dudes, nobody takes them serious from the black race, from the white race, from any race. They're looked at like complete jokes and complete clowns. And that's all I'm going to really say about the dude. It's like, you know... And then even Plows, like you keep talking about black, black, black. She never said she was black, bro. Why you keep trying to throw this black in our face shit? 
even at the Democratic National Convention, she made it clear, brown woman. Now, she may be mixed or whatever, but she's not identifying with that. That's like us trying to call Trump black. He's saying he's a white American. Why are we trying to make him something he don't even want to be? To me, that's the silliest shit in the world. So, again, we Malcolm X said it best, and I got to keep reiterating. We cannot look to entertainers, you know, uh, uh, um, rappers, all these different clowns to try to give us political advice who, sh who we should be voting for. If you listen to them, you might as well jump off a damn bridge. Listen to people. I'm talking. Give me an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. Give me a, a, some type of a leader, someone who's actually doing something positive, not a fucking joke like Plies, not a fucking joke like Uncle Luke. I just won't listen to you. All I'm going to do is get on the microphone and bang on you every time I get a chance. And people, Anytime I get a chance. People get mad. I see a couple people in the comments. Oh, y'all should just say y'all want Trump to win. Y'all should just, because y'all anything is negative to work. Listen, Kamala could be as black as these fucking shirts. She could be as white as these walls. If she had policies in place that were going to help us, where do I sign? Right. Prove it. Trump could be as black as what it, it doesn't matter. I don't right. give a fuck about anybody. Who's right. going to do the best to help us? Who's going to put the, the, the policies in place? Who's going to put the infrastructure in place to help us grow our independent businesses so we can go home in our various households and feed our families? Who's going to help us do that? Right. Who's going to lower these fucking the, the gas prices so that we could travel at an affordable price? Who's going to sit back and buy groceries? You know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's in office because we're going to buy and do these things regardless. But who's going to give us the best chance to do it? And nobody wants to talk about any of that. And then when it get on us, if you throw a policy down or two, hey, look, hey, motherfucker, hit the policy or two. Get out of right. my face. No. Right. Why are we sitting back and, and, and looking down on somebody because they have a different view or perspective of you? That's the fucking problem. Black people can't have a mind of their own. They can't go, well, what about well, what they're going to do because they get demonized. It's like Cube did four years ago when he had the contract with Black America. Was y'all getting on Cube? Hell yeah, y'all was getting on Cube. And now it's a pin drop talking about black men and what they did and questioned Trump. He did all that shit. Trump was sitting back there ready to answer some of this shit, too. Did Biden go and meet with Cube a couple years ago? The brother? Did he go meet with him? Or did the other dude? Did Red? Did 45 go do it? It's a bunch of hypocritical bullshit out here, man. And it's just it's sickening and nauseating. I genuinely don't give a damn who wins at this point. Right. I don't. I kind of low-key want to see Kamala Harris win because I could see clowns like Plies and Uncle Luke duck and hide when two years down the road. We see nothing happen. Oh, there'll be there'll be nowhere to be found, or they'll make a bunch of fucking excuses. DL. That's it. I ain't seen Charlemagne put something up about today about Kamala saying that she will up support reparations in 2019. Okay, where's that at? Where's the, where's it at? Where's that on her agenda? Yeah. I went on I went on the Republican site the other day and I looked at you know their agenda. I looked at some even some of the things that they highlighted that Kamala said she was going to do but didn't do, and pretty much her record. I took time and I screenshotted the shit. And I read through it. I'm like, oh, okay. So this is how, you know what I mean? And they both got their different things like that or whatever. Yeah. It just, who you really want to go with, who you want to ride with. Again, with me, I know how things were when Trump was in office. Everybody knew inflation, everything was lower. I'm willing to give the man another chance. If he don't win, it is what it is. Oh, God, that was Obama's doing. He was just riding off oh, of what yeah, Obama yeah, right, did. Right, oh, right, right. So that's who, who why. Who is he doing now doing? then? <laughs> What's going on? That's Trump's fault now, right? <laughs> And then when she gets, she gets it, she got to undo Trump, even though Biden was in office for four <laughs> years. So like, even like now, it don't make no sense because like you're gonna do all this stuff, you're gonna do all this stuff, you gotta do all this stuff. My first question is, why don't you start now? My second question is, so you now admitting that you gotta undo the shit that you're running make fucked up. You gotta undo this and do that because you're a vice president, you got some fucking power. Just say you hate black women, oh God. Just say you hate black women. <laughs> Indian woman. <laughs> did y'all see that in the Democratic National Convention? Did you see any black people on that damn stage when her family was up there? Damn. And it's like at the end of the day, it, it, the, the, the conversation is so calm. But just you could be darker than me and still not be a so-called black person. So stop with the, the skin shit. That don't mean nothing. Right. You know what I mean? You could be dark as hell. There's many different phenotypes of people that's dark as hell and they're not black. Look it up. Yeah. Not so called black of African America, African descent, whatever they want to call it. So stop it. So stop calling this woman black. And I really don't care, but she don't she never identified herself as black. She ain't say I'm gonna be the first black woman president. She said, I'm gonna be the first South Asian mm. president. That's what she said. So that's what I'm calling her. 
It ain't nothing wrong with that. But right. that's y'all argument. With it. That's the argument y'all want to run with. Right. If that's what she is, let that woman be that. Right. But y'all want to keep saying we disrespecting black women. Nobody disrespecting anything because we asking somebody questions. Right. Making sure that we know who we're voting for because for far too long we've been manipulated into voting for one side and getting a shitty end of the stick for it. Tired of that, bro. Like I said, the Democratic Party had a you know, track record of actually doing what they said they was going to do. You'll never hear from us. None of it will matter. Nope. But now, but we've seen throughout the years, like, yo, it's been just one, you know, big concert. When they get in office, quiet as hell. We got to say something about that. And if hip-hop or entertainers went out here flapping their gums about a bunch of bullshit, you probably wouldn't hear us talking either. Word. If it was Kamala versus Trump and they both did what they do and Kamala still had her side and Trump still had his side and they were just doing what they do, Word. probably wouldn't talk about this shit because it's not something we like to talk about on the daily. But when you got these hypocrites and these fools out here running their mouth and saying all this shit... Oh, yeah, well, now it's time to get on these mics and go to work. We're so. going to be quiet.